since uh, some of the production staff went to download Rock Festival and missed out on some of the shoots, we shot at a church at Northorpe that Neil kindly got for us uh, near his house, um, which was really good. And we were there for four or five hours and the, it looks awesome, it looks really good. Again, got the guys from No Media to come down. Uh, we set up the tracks and dolly and we're going to blow the doors off the church. But I shouldn't really tell you that because that's a special effect. Um, Okay, so last Tuesday uh, we filmed in um, St. Peter's Church in Norfolk, which is a rural church um, of Norman origin. Um, we did a wonderful scene inside um, whereby uh, Jack <coughs> goes to um, remember his um, dead comrade and has a flashback, uh, which was the Afghan footage that we, uh, we, we took um, on the Sunday. Um, and then this alien a uh, woman comes in and tells, grabs him and tells him, you know, he's got to go. Uh, he's bewildered, doesn't know what's going on, and then the bad aliens turn up um, to kick some ass. Um, so that's really what happened there. There were some good shots outside um, of the bad aliens uh, turning up. We used um, uh, the jib to do some high shots, and it was all wonderful. And the church is excellent because it's got um, some really good stained glass windows, so the colours were fantastic. Um, and we all had cake. That's how good it was. What we're doing today is we are doing a fight scene between five people. It's the first time I've shot a fight scene. Um, but it's all going to happen here in this doorway. But we've got enough cameras. We've got the guys from No Media here. I'll let them be like productions from Scunthorpe. We've got them over to Grimsby, which is unheard of because they ain't got the passports or anything. Um, we're going to film a fight scene. Three aliens versus an alien and a human. That's what it's going to be. Um, I'm looking forward to it. They've been working hard choreographing the fight scene for the past couple of days and I only saw it for the first time yesterday because they wasn't going to let me see it. Um, there's some videos floating about but they banned me from seeing them. That's it really, I just hope that it's going to look good. Because of the rating of the film we couldn't do anything um, too graphic, uh, we had to be quite careful so we were doing a lot of cl a close quarter uh, combat, uh, lots of um, elbow strikes, and deflections and that sort of thing. And, a few kicks and really making the, the punches look you know, big punches if we've thrown a punch on, on camera. Um, and it, hopefully it, uh, it worked okay. It's difficult when you're dealing with people who aren't fight trained. Um, but again, you know, the enthusiasm was there and uh, everyone sort of stepped up. <laughs> <laughs> they were well, there was, a, there was a few hiccups here and there with uh, a few people getting slightly injured. Um, I won't go into detail. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it went well. I mean, the idea, because when I spoke to Daryl about doing the training and the fighting, we always said we'd break and move down into sections, so we're not having to remember the entire move. Um, and that kind of helped with the shooting and also getting everyone's memory, but Daryl being there to kind of give us a refresher was really good. Um, but yeah, on the day it just went really well. We kind of got everything shot that we needed to. Um, apart from a few injuries, it was, <laughs> it was a good day. When we put the email out about obviously we want to do this film with some uh, fights and stuff, and Daryl and his friend Glenn um, got in touch with us. Uh, Glenn, he, he's worked with people um, who do fight choreography in the industry anyway. Uh, and Glenn, he's trained with some of the guys that did all the fighting for the Bourne films. Um, and Daryl um, sort of runs workshops and things with Glenn, so we both sort of contacted us um, about you know being interested in sort of choreographing the fight scenes, and then it was mainly sort of Daryl who um, we were sort of training with um, his fighting star Callum who was um, yeah, just training that. And Daryl was really um, quite a good guy. He's a really good guy. He's a real nice guy. And knows what he's doing. Um, you know, and then we sort of changed it as we went along, um, just to just to suit you know everyone's sort of body movement. Mm. Uh, I yeah. think that's why it was. But again, going back to the fact that everyone was really keen, really up for it, yeah. you know, and made it happen. Considering what the short space time we've had for this anyway, um, we want to keep the fight moves sort of. You know, it looks good, but sort of simple at the same time. You know, we haven't got time to be learning backflips and things like that. It's just kind of just keep it. What's the next one? Yeah, What's the next one? <laughs> But uh, no, it's all gone. It's all gone really, really well. Um, yeah, I've been happy with everything. Really, mm. the way it's all gone, especially in the time frame we've had. You know, to get the fight training in there, shoot the film, edit it, in these three days. I mean, that in itself, if you was on a big production, you'd be training for months. But it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's all good.
I believe. Are you yeah. filming, man? Yeah, what just happened? Tell Cheers. Me. <laughs> well, our lovely Dan decided to slam me straight into this uh, little garage. It was that authentic, he actually slammed me into it. <laughs> I feel terrible. You I feel terrible. This is for the police tape. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the claim to go in. Yeah. Well, there's blame. There's, there's a, a claim. claim. <laughs>